Enjoy this free preview from My Outdoor TV. With the largest library of outdoor shows, we are the home of the adventurous, the champions, the legends. My Outdoor TV. Try us free. The Brotherhood of the Bone Collector is presented by Bushnell. I got into trapping really when I become a landowner and then when I had one eat the cat. Down to Dixie, about the only thing we're missing here is the General Lee. I just killed a deer with a crossbow. I swear these shows get more and more redneck every year. Southern coyotes, or really a lot, almost all coyotes, they're kind of road runners. They're like you and I, they'll take the path of least resistance. Seem like all wild game will do that. And look, here we go. Here's some fresh coyote tracks right here. That was last night. So obviously that's a pretty good sized dog grown. So what we'll do, we'll put one right here. Ready to go. I'm a pretty big fan of the Mark Jr. product. And you just want to take a good glob. And I'll take just a little bit of this and I just put it right here on the outside. And that right there is a good dirt hole set. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my broom and sweep this out and make it feel a little bit better. I got into trapping really when I become a landowner. I've always trapped a little bit, but I wasn't that good at it, and then I really dug in deep more to kind of get better at it, especially since my wife has got 434 chickens. We had a real good year last year. I think we caught 20 coyotes, six or seven foxes, I think three bobcats, and I don't even know how many coons and possums. So I had, we had one time a fox get in and kill some biddies and uh, some of my wife's chickens, and uh, it wasn't a good thing. It didn't reflect good on me, because I'm supposed to be the protector. And of course, uh, I heard it, so. And then when I had one eat the cat, I mean, look at the dog. Rose, get up here, Rose! My squirrel dog just done took off. Look, Rose, Rose, let's go! Hey, and these little old puppies, a coyote eat them too. Where in the world did she go? I just saw her by the gate. Only place she can get out of this farm. Well, you can see, it gets kind of chaotic, and one might think, well, city life looks pretty easy compared to this country living. However, this was mine and my wife Christie's dream and goal to own some acreage, to have a farm. There's no better place to raise a family and to make memories. I mean, it has a little bit of everything from complete paradise to complete chaos. <laughs> I just want to believe it. the more equipment you got, the more problems you're going to have. Pretty obvious. That's hand soap. It's not dishwashing soap. I just drank some milk out of it. I know, but if you're not going to clean it right, then don't clean it at all. Let me at least put it in. Quit yelling. I'm going to drink. So I almost had a mental breakdown at my house because everyone was driving crazy. So I decided to go hunting so I could sit by myself in peace and quiet because that's quite frankly the only time I get peace and quiet. You ever heard of overgrazing? No decimated wildlife back in the day. Um, you bought an RC car today. I can buy freaking chickens. They were four dollars. Come on, little guys. Let me show you in their home. This is why we have no bridges on our property, because I don't want to be the one that jumps off of it. And even though there's a lot of chores and a lot of things that have to get done, when deer season rolls around, let me tell you, 
everybody in my family is chomping at the bit to get their turn in a deer stand. Yeah! You got your first buck, that's a good one. I'm Addie Waddell and I just got my first buck. Mark, get your cover. Just wonder how we're gonna pick up this monster. I heard some rumbling, stuff and bumbling. Golly, boys, aren't you the shot? George P. I'm Mara Waddell, and I'm a bone collector. Well, you look like Nick, you look like Nick Mutt behind that big old cover. Say, we got it, Mama. I got it, Mama. <laughs> Sometimes so bad. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> that smoked you a big old Georgia bug, boy. Yeah. I'm excited because I've never killed a bug in Georgia. We're so blessed to have some acres and have an opportunity to live this life. I mean, this is what we always had set our goal to have, and it really has been a blessing. He 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 was running away, and 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 we and we and we shoot him. Way over there when he was walking. Bone Collector is brought to you by Bushnell, Hoyt, Big and J, Gamo, Base Map, G5, Swagger, and by Sheffield Financial. First time. I got a lot of nice deer. Actually, the best spot I got for a deer I want to shoot, the wind's dead wrong, so we're probably gonna stay out of there, but I got another spot that's pretty good. If it hit that way, I don't have no complaints, no worries. I don't need to practice. Shut up. <laughs> Boom! Yeah. A better shot. You only get one shot, though, and your first shot went under him. Okay, I hadn't shot in a year, Cohen. <laughs> I did a warm-up shot. Look, man, I know a lot of people love to name the deer. You know, Fred, Gnarls, and all these little nicknames. I just ain't a fan of naming these animals that I'm about to take my bow and arrow and try to put a tag on. I just keep it simple. And like this deer we're going after this particular evening, I named him uh, the Big Ten. Non-typical extra beam. <laughs> beam right. Knobby ate water creek. <laughs> I don't want to name stuff that I'm planning on murdering unless it's called Osama bin Laden. Yeah, this is almost equally as awkward, though. <laughs> but here's the most important. Osama. There's 22 of them that need killing. Big eight crab bull run. <laughs> I need Either to take way. this list. I might get confused. Well, it's only 7.30. Y'all got 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> this is Bill Jordan hunt. Yeah. <laughs> It's kind of hard to believe that it's deer season already. The summer flew by, elk season's behind us, and this is our first set, first time on the farm, and the last time we sat here, we had good luck. I made a terrible shot, but I got a nice buck. This particular spot, we've had a lot of good bucks showing up, so same old talk, just a different year, and we got a couple big bruisers, man, and I'm just hoping one of slide in through here. That's the plan, simple plan. But it takes a lot of detail to execute. So join me. Join me. Sit back, relax. It's either gonna be good or it's gonna be over real short and we're gonna get onto another hunt if something happens good.
Being it was my first sit, you know, for the Georgia deer season, optimism was high. However, in typical Georgia fashion, or any southern states, the wind seems to always swirl. So the first deer that come in, some does, never even got in range. I mean, they smelled us and was out of there, so. But usually when things don't go as planned, that's when things turn out to go as planned. Here comes more deer. There's a good buck coming, good buck coming. Here he comes, going. It's a big 10. Right here, see him. Shot him. Hit him terrible. Hit him terrible. Right now, when I'm looking at this deer, when he stops, is complete bewilderment. I don't know. I, I know that the shot's terrible. It's just complete letdown in myself that I had made this terrible of a shot. Zero excuses. I just made a bad shot. This is two years in a row. That was a big deer I come after, and I made a terrible, terrible shot. I don't know what I did. We look back at the footage, I mean, a lot, and then go into where the deer had stopped. There was a lot of blood. And even reviewing the footage, we could tell the deer was dragging. It looked like for sure his back right leg. And whether it was a doe or, you know, in this case, the biggest buck on my farm, you got to do everything in your power to see if you can find a way to recover and to make up for that mistake. And you owe these animals at least that. And we decided to call a buddy that had some tracking dogs and we felt like we needed some help because I had failed miserably on this shot. Zero excuses, but we're trying to make the best out of a bad situation. That's the best way I can say it. Well, obviously, I made a very terrible shot. And we got our buddy Lyle, who's got some amazing dogs. So obviously in a situation like this, you exhaust all efforts trying to find a deer like this. And so it had been a good decision to get these tracking dogs in and come to find out this buck had not made it far, literally a hundred yards after putting the dogs out, we was able to get a quick follow up with my bow and arrow. And everything that we assumed had come true, this deer would not have made it. He was in bad shape. Good job, Lyle. Holy cow, dude. Smoking. Sorry for a rookie, terrible shot. Sometimes you still get buck fever, you get jacked up. I was jacked up. This is a buck I was wanting all year. And luckily, we was able to get a tag on this buck, and I am so glad, because he is a giant, beautiful deer. I'm just very mad that I screwed up. But that's nobody's fault but mine, and I own it. Well, this is just a story of when things go as planned but the final little procedure to kind of conclude the book, or the novel in this case, of this big Georgia book I've been after all year, it went awry, awry, whatever the word is, but we were still able to get our hands on him, so I'm thankful for that. <laughs> Made in the USA, built to last a lifetime. It's ready to grill whenever you are. The Hooray Grill is all about the experience. Hooray Grill Company. Hello guys, uh, we're out and we're in the tree stand right now and I just need to paint it. Does your mama know about that? No. Who got you that? Uh, Papa. <laughs> My youngest son Waylon, who's now six, I mean he's grown up on the farm and as you can imagine, he is all into hunting. 
everything, but especially deer. We wanted to try to get out early this year and take our bone collector killer instinct crossbow, and he was infatuated with wanting to try to get one with that, and that's what we were going to attempt. Wind's hitting us in the face, so me and Wellen got a good wind. Wish us luck. Right there, dead. Well, a 40 yard shot. What has just happened? I just killed a deer with a crossbow. And that's been my first time shooting a deer with a crossbow, and I've never done that. I'm dying. You smoked it, buddy. Waylon, 40 yard double lung with a crossbow? Welcome to the world of archery. That's what we're talking about. These crossbows nowadays, even a six year old can participate. Wayland, what else on the board, baby? What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I want to go get it. All right, let's go get it. Hold on. Hey, Mom. Yeah. Guess what? What? I just killed a doe. You did? Yeah. All right, well, I'll be there in just a minute, OK? OK. All right, love you. Yeah, you. Goodness, that's a big old mama. <laughs> Look at that. That's going to be good eating, isn't it? Are you sad? A little. Look where I shot it. Where did I shot it? You shot a perfect shot, buddy. And I'm proud of you, buddy. But you said that's the same Because <laughs> <laughs> that's our nature to be sad. But hey, you made a great shot. You know what's cool about this? Is she didn't suffer. You didn't wound her or anything. And that's going to be some good eating. Yeah, it's going to be some good eating. <laughs> Camo kids wear has never looked so cool. Toddler, youth, and even infant-sized clothing made with quality. BC Rascal. Waylon Waddell has slowly turned into a stone-cold killer. At four years old, he set the family record with his very first deer. What did you just do? Shoot a deer. Give me five. At five, he began to roam the hills of Downton Dixie, shooting every coon, skunk, possum, and squirrel in sight. And at six, he mastered the art of the crossbow on his very first bow. What has just happened? I just killed a deer. And now, at six years old, he's headed to the stand to hopefully put a tag on his very first Georgia buck. I thought a chipmunk. Sound like a chipmunk. I'm all jacked up on Mountain Dew. I jumped at you like a spider monkey. All we need is deer. We do have snacks. Yeah, all right, take your time. Dead. 
Well, the good Lord says real clear, youngins are like having sharp arrows in your quiver. And man, he blessed me with five sharp arrows. The memories that I've made with them as they hunted their first bucks in the state of Georgia, I mean, money can't buy those memories. It's priceless. And for Waylon being six years old, I think he's just more fired up to show this thing off to his brothers and his sister and to prove to them that he too is now part of the family in getting his first buck. Oh my gosh, Waylon. Dude, look how cool he is. He's freaking huge. Waylon, I'm so proud of you, bro. I want McCoy to see. <laughs> McCoy shot a doe. We got to go up and find it. He said he hit it smoking. No way. Yeah. He said it right off of the air. Dang. So I didn't mean to gar hole you, Mason. Nah, exactly. You think you popped one? Oh, no, I did. I know I did. <laughs> What'd you do? Oh, I know I did. Yes, sir. Hey, come look at this. Dude, no, you did not. Yes, I did. This is first buck, Coy. Dude. That's what I'm talking about. Look at all this blood. Oh, yeah, there's you. McCoy. That right there, boys. Bring it in, boy. Sack it deer with a bow, man. The boy. Good. Look at this. And the girls. Now I gotta squat down and say, I'm McCoy Waddell and I'm, I'm a bone, bone collector. Bone Collector has been brought to you by Realtree, Chevy, Morel. Tacticam, Matabo Tools, Rambo Bikes, and by Element Outdoors. Closed captioning is brought to you by Hornady Ammunition. Accurate, deadly, dependable. Be aiming, just pretend like you're aiming. All right, don't make a face just like you see her, it's just like you aimed at her.